just by random happenstance. Was involved in elementary school um, sporting events all the way through club sports, and around the age of puberty, needed a new sport to kind of even out my playing field and found swimming. Always loved to do it, but never really got involved. And so was really happy to, to find it. And you had one pool at the time, so my options were limited, but had a great start. And was lucky enough to get connected with the right coaches and, and start my career. Thank you. Um, so what are some of the key um, I came here a couple times for training um, throughout my career. I went to school at CSU, um, so I came down here for camps and then uh, was an off-campus resident at the training center in town um, a couple of times. Um, and so really just fell in love with, with it down here in the Springs. And uh, at what point did you realize hey, I'm pretty um, it was randomly enough, six months after I started swimming, uh, back in 98, I went to my first national championships and they said, you know, if you, if you do well enough, you could be selected for a team. And at that competition six months after I started, I was selected for my first world championship team. So still wasn't entirely sure what I'd gotten myself into, but, you know, very lucky at the time and from there it took off. What's your a lot. Um, I think my biggest accomplishment was in Athens 2004 when I went uh, seven events, seven gold medals. It was really just the pinnacle to be in the birthplace of where the Olympic Games happen. Um, and then to win every event was was just icing on the cake. Well, so anyway, I asked you, what, what are you supposed to do? Are you uh, retired? Yep, uh, I retired in 2010. Um, so now I work at the U.S. Olympic Committee for the Paralympic Division as the cycling team, or er, sorry, uh, the Paracycling Associate Director of Sport Operations. Uh, you know, it's the best part of it is that I'm able to get back to the sports that I loved and that gave me so much opportunity. Um, it's, it's a lot different being on this side of the sporting world instead of as an athlete, so there's a lot of information to learn from a, very quickly from being an athlete versus being on staff, but it's, it's been an awesome journey. <laughs> um, well, I think as a, as a Paralympian, they continue to kind of wonder what Paralympics is all about, but yet they they're often awestruck because you know it's it's not as big as the Olympics, but our accomplishments are still as great. So I think they're I'm a humble person, so I'm not going to go out and shout that I have 14 gold medals. But uh, once they found out, they're kind of right, right. <laughs> you know, there's a great community atmosphere here. Uh, plenty to do out outdoors. Um, the weather, I mean, it's January and it's a beautiful day outside, so it's easy to be outside and get around, so lots to do. Absolutely, you know, any opportunity to watch the Olympics and Paralympics is, is fun. You see the world's best on the best stage, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what Pyeongchang can, can do. There's, there's sporting events out there for all ages, all impairments. Um, so all people with physical impairments, visual impairments, there's there's plenty of opportunities and the sky's really the limit. I know Paralympics is still early on in the U.S., but there's we're getting bigger, we're getting bolder, and I think you guys will be all excited to see what happens this year in Korea. Are, 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 I, th I see Yes. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's there's 20 million plus Americans here with physical disabilities in the U.S. So it's there's a great population out there that need to see what elite athletes with physical impairments can do in the world. 
and so it's definitely growing. We're getting lots of sponsorship opportunities. You'll see a lot of uh, uh, sponsor commercials this year for both the Olympics and Paralympics that feature Paralympic athletes. So, so the visual effect is getting a lot bigger, and we're excited to see what we can do going forward. What's it like? Mm -hmm. What's it like? It, it, there's, I don't know how to describe it because you're there with the best of the best in the world, um, not just on your team, but you know you're competing there with the best of every country, and you're also there representing your country. Um, you know, we, we have a great country, and we have a lot that's built upon that, and so it's a, it's a great honor to be able to be there representing your country on the elite stage and and know that you have a country rooting for you and, and backing you and supporting you and cheering for you, whether it's you know at home behind the TV or in your local pub or wherever it may be. You know the, the Olympic and Paralympic spirit is alive and well here in the U.S. Oh, that's a great question. Um, you know, I I'm not sure where it is, but hopefully it's you know continuing to develop the world's best athletes and and get them to where I once was. You know, there's there's no greater feeling than you know I had the greatest feeling in the world being on the top of the podium. But when I can see athletes that I've had a help in their career see those rewards and be on the podium or on the top of the podium, it's it's a really fulfilling experience. Yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, when you go from training and competing, you know, upwards of four or five to six hours a day, there's obviously a void. So it's and I think every Olympic and Paralympic athlete is competitive by nature, otherwise we wouldn't be where we are. And so I think finding that competitive outlet is definitely necessary for me. Uh, I grew up riding and showing horses. Um, so when I was swimming took over um, as part of, you know, more of a career for me, I had to give that up. And so a couple of years ago I got back into it. So I have the ability to, to show my horse and it's it's a learning experience because now I'm dependent upon something else besides just myself since swimming was such an individual sport. But it's 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 fun, it's competitive. And I mean, there's always the pickup game of dodgeball or this or that. So I think just working for the Olympic Committee, there's a lot of competitive people within the organization. So it often makes for a lot of fun. Anything else you want to add? No, just uh, go Team USA. We're all rooting for you and watching for you. And we look forward to seeing you guys bring home the gold.